let's rewind a little bit to this morning. We said, okay, um, our goal is to have more entropy. And for that, we want to use the entropy of the different nodes of the cluster. So that amounts to uh, deploying one instance of the RNG service per node of the cluster. So what I could do, I, I could do like um, uh, kubectl scale deployment RNG, sorry, dash dash replicas three, and that would give me three replicas of RNG, but this does not guarantee that it will be on different nodes. Um, maybe the three replicas will be in the same node, and in that case I won't let be using the entropy of all the nodes of my cluster. So if I want one pod per node, I need to use a different resource type, and that resource type is a daemon set. The goal of the daemon set is exactly that, uh, and we've seen daemon sets already. Um, remember when we did like a kubectl get pods in the cube system namespace? We saw like that we had four uh, cube proxy pods and four WeaveNet pods. These were created by a daemon set. I mentioned like, okay, we have this special construct to have exactly one pod like that per node. That's, that's the role of the daemon set. So other use cases for daemon sets are monitoring agents. You want to make sure that you have one copy of the monitoring agent on each node. Um, if you are running uh, on-prem, or even in the cloud, but you're using, for instance, GPUs or something like that. Sometimes you, you might want to have like a, a management agent or, some, or something like that running on the machine. Um, so the daemon set is a good way to make that happen. Um, you can restrict daemon sets to run only on some nodes. For instance, when you say, okay, I want um, that specific container that is managing my GPU uh, to run only on the nodes that have GPUs. So then when you deploy the node, you can set labels on them. You can say, okay, this has an NVIDIA GPU, this has an Intel GPU, this has something else. And then you can create daemon sets saying, I want a pod like that to exist, to exist, excuse me, on every node that has this exact label. Unfortunately, we cannot create a daemon set with the CLI. Or to be more accurate, uh, we don't have a command to create a daemon set. We can't do like a kubectl create daemon set. So the only solution we have uh, is to apply some YAML. So have a YAML describing the daemon set and then um, applying the, that YAML. So how do we create the YAML for the daemon set? Option one, read the docs. I think at that point, if, you, if we dive into the docs, we're never going to get out of it. Like Everybody's going to fall asleep. Option two, we VI um, and we, we try to find a, a workaround and a easy, lazy fix around it. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to export the YAML for the RNG deployment and then see if we can figure out a way to transform the deployment into a daemon set. So to get the YAML, I do <clears throat> kubectl get deployment rng dash o yaml and this gives me the yaml for the deployment uh, i'm going to add dash dash export dash dash export means remove anything that is not part of the um, of the definition of the deployment remove all the status information basically in other words the information that is not necessary to create this object and you can see like now in the output, uh, we have status empty. Okay, so I'm going to put this YAML in rng.yaml. And now I'm going to edit this YAML file to see how to transform that into a daemon set. So just like every uh, cube API uh, object, it has API version, it has a kind, and it has metadata and a bunch of other things. I have kind deployment. So if I want to transform that into a daemon set, I am just going to put kind daemon set. And then since everything else seems way too complicated, I'm just going to save, 
quit and see if I could just create that YAML file. So kubectl apply dash f rng.yml. Of course, it couldn't be that easy. It's telling me like error validating data, um, unknown field progress deadline seconds, unknown field replicas. Okay, that one makes sense because remember in a deployment, I say I want that many replicas, one, five, ten, whatever. In a daemon set, I don't want a specific number of replicas. I want one, one per node. So it makes sense that the, the field replicas should not be there. It also tells me a node field strategy, and it also missing some required fields. Uh, so maybe we have to edit the YAML and, and fix all that. Or maybe at the end it says, if you choose to ignore these errors, turn the validation off with dash dash validate equal false. That seems way easier than editing YAML, and also it seems to be working. I see like daemon set extensions RNG created. Um, did that really work? Uh, if I do kubectl get pods, it's, it looks like something good happened because now I see that I have a bunch of extra RNG pods. You see these three there created like 11 seconds ago? It looks like they were just created by the daemon set. Furthermore, if I go to the browser, I have the happy surprise of having like uh, 30 something hashes per second. So it looks like I was able to break this ceiling of 10 hashes per second. It looks like indeed I was able to solve my scaling problem. Great.